We are in Windows Server 8 evaluation copy and I'm going to show you how to add a or remove a role in Windows 8. So uh, as you can see this is the new interface here. We can click on the start menu and we will see the uh, Metro interface and we can click on server manager here or we can go to the desktop and we see server manager here as well. So we'll go ahead and open server manager up and we'll see the new interface. From here we see the dashboard and we can go over here and click on add roles. And the add roles looks has a little bit of a different look to it, but we can go ahead and choose next and we can look at role-based or feature-based installation, very similar to 2008, or we can go to scenario-based. Scenario-based is interesting and it shows uh, different scenarios based on uh, what you are going to have in your, uh, your domain in your forest. So we need to either join a domain or become a domain controller before we're going to be able to use that. So let's go back to role-based and choose next and we see the server that's in our list here. Click Next and we see the more familiar different options that we would see in the uh, in Windows 2008. We also see here in Windows 8. So we'll just go ahead and choose uh, any particular service that we want. We'll, I'll, I'll choose Remote Access. It prompts us to also add the required features. So we'll allow that. Choose Next and instead of getting features as a separate item it's now part of the roles so from here you can go ahead and add features as well and we can choose anything we want from here I'll just go ahead and add the uh, TFTP client just just to have something in there next next and then from here because of some of the other options that we picked it's given us an additional option we can add VPN or routing which we'll just leave the VPN checked next next now in we since we picked um, the IIS option we can see all the different IIS role services to be added to this new server role of IIS so we can go ahead and choose some additional functionality go ahead and click add now we can also uncheck it and then if we check the box again then we can go in and add them individually and next and we can go ahead it says if we want uh, to automatically restart when it's done we can check that box otherwise we'll, we will click commit and we can see here the progress bar that is installing all of the options that we just chose